Sankofa and the roots of wellness, reaching back to pick up what we've left behind and bringing it forward to help us move forward. Today, I'm talking about ancestors and the importance of our ancestors. I'm here outside in my gorgeous Tanzanian garden. Hi, I'm Ama Opari from Food for the Soul, and here on this channel, I share tips and tools you can use to create a whole and healthy life, to become as the person that you really are inside through diet and lifestyle changes. If that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification so you'll find out every time I upload a new video. Today I'm here in the Memorial Garden at United African Alliance Community Center it, near Arusha, Tanzania. It's a place that uh, that I lived for six months when I first came here to Tanzania and it's a wonderful place uh, filled with love and just community activists. Pete and Charlotte O'Neill are Black Panthers who have been here for 50 years and uh, are doing, bringing the work of the Black Panthers here to Tanzania. And you can see behind me, the, this is uh, their memorial garden. You can see the names of uh, many of the people and their families. that uh, are now in the ancestral world. And traditionally, in many, many African traditions, worship of the ancestors was vital. There was the clear understanding that we are our ancestors. I mean, really, we wouldn't be who we are without our ancestors, and our ancestors are reborn through us. And we pass on that same ancestral uh, DNA, wisdom, uh, stories to our children. And so for uh, many African cultures, the worship of the ancestors is very, very important. Many people will set altars up in their homes um, with pictures of the, their loved ones, with items on it that uh, are remembrance of the people in their family who have left. Uh, there's also uh, many uh, cultures understand that the ac their ancestors are actually reborn through our children, that they come back again through our children. Um, and so it's a very important to, to take time and you know honor your mother and father, honor your grandparents, honor your great grandparents, even if you don't know all the names, to reach back and recognize that you would not be here without them. And so to take time to honor them, to, to um, speak to them. I know that for me, I find that uh, t talking to the ancestors is a very powerful practice for me. And I definitely feel like I get inspiration and wisdom and advice from them when I speak to them in prayer or if I speak to them through writing, I might ask for their guidance and ask them to speak to me through my writing and just let the words flow through me. And I find it to be a very powerful, powerful practice. It has helped me in so many ways. Um, and so oftentimes you pour libations, and we'll see some of that here with Mama C, who uh, is leading our diasporan group in uh, pouring of libation, a bit of a ceremony to welcome us together here and to bring the ancestors into the space uh, to support us, to love us, um, and to care for us. So we give thanks. We give thanks for all these blessings that we're surrounded with that go out from us to the world, y'all. We give thanks that we walk in peace and blessings. And we give thanks as we call out the names of the ancestors that we want to honor. I'm going to start with my dad, Sterling Emmanuel Hill, and my mother, Teresa Charles Alligad Hill. Come on, y'all. Call them out. Call them out. Call them out. Yes, call them out. Call them out so they know you have a daughter. Call them out. I love them. Our family that is our bloodline and our family that is not. We will continue to love 
them, have compassion, have peace, have good character, have all the things that we need so we can continually, as through our character, be able to bring about good resources, good land, good homes, good food, good water that comes from the mountains, Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Maru, all the water that's coming down to be able to cleanse us, to be able to feed us and give us everything that we need. And may we always have good health, good prosperity, generational wealth. May we have good mates, a good character and that are fun to be with. We pray that we have good, honest children and that they are strong and that they know not only the history, but where they are right now. Woo! And that they have the strength to be able to overcome. And we pray that we always have victory in our lives. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Our ancestors want to take care of us, want to help us. If we open ourselves up to their guidance, if we ask for guidance, they will be there for us. Uh, and yeah, there are many different traditions, you know, Ifa, Vudun, uh, Akan, uh, Santeria. There's many different traditions that all, if you look underneath, are very, very similar. But even if you aren't a part of a formal, Af traditional African spiritual community, you still can uh, incorporate some of the practices. You know, you, you still have direct contact with your ancestors. You can reach out to them. You can ask for their guidance. And there's a number of good books also that uh, you, can, you can check out to help you understand about the ancestors and what you, you know, how to set up a, a, an altar or shrine in your house, if that's something that you're interested in. And I will put some links for those books in the description box below. So I'd love to hear from you. Do you uh, practice a traditional African spiritual practice? Do you speak to the ancestors? Do you feel like your ancestors are here with you? If so, in what ways? You know, how do you know? What do you know? Uh, for me, particularly in hard times when um, I've been struggling with things, I can, I, if I stop and remember that they're with me, I can feel their protective energy around me. Um, and I trust that what is happening to me, even if it's something that's uncomfortable, if it's painful, I trust that what is happening is for my good in the, in the long run. That it is bringing me, it's teaching me something, it's um, leading me to the next phase in my life. Uh, and so it's, it's helped me a lot to be able to just release control of what's happening and let life flow as it is and to learn to trust my own intuition. Another thing to think of is that uh, if we are our ancestors by uh, those of us that are, have moved back to the motherland, uh, we are bringing our ancestors back home. We are bringing them back to Africa by us coming here. And that, that just gives me chill, chills, shivers every time I think about that. That through me, I am bringing my great, great, great grandparents back to Africa where they belong, where they came from. Maybe they didn't come from Tanzania, but they're back home. And so uh, connecting to our ancestors is very important. It is really the keys, a key to our power. Our ancestors are here to help us if we let them. They are, uh, they are the way for us to manifest the things that we want in the world. They are the way for us to uh, tap into ancient wisdom that, that uh, can really help us in this modern day and age. So that's it for this video about Sankofa and the roots of wellness and the importance of connecting to our ancestors. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and click subscribe and share this video with others to help spread the word about the work that I'm doing. That's it for today. I'm Ama Opari for Food for the Soul here in Arusha, Tanzania. Or right now in Embassy Village in Tanzania. Until next time, Kwaheri, goodbye.